So for the last eight weeks I've been working at a camp in upstate New York called Camp Echo Lake and I've had one of the most amazing summers ever. It's just been such an incredible experience. I had a lot of people send me messages about camp and how to get into it and just other questions regarding everything that is camp. So I thought it would be a really good idea for me to kind of go through these questions and answer them. Um, I just wanted to do a quick FYI. I think eight weeks of crazy madness fun has finally caught up on me um, and I now have a full-on cold <laughs> and I'm struggling a little bit. It. But I really, I really, really wanted to film this video at camp because it's so beautiful here and I just, I feel truly like myself and extremely, extremely comfortable here. So I'm going to push past the cold, we're going to continue the video and we're going to get it done. <laughs> What's the average age of camp counsellors? So there's quite a range here. Um, I think the youngest person on staff is 19 um, and there's a few of them that are 19, but majority of us are probably more between... 21 to 25, 26 ish. Uh, so the next question I got was how and why did you get involved with this? So the first time I did camp was actually in 2015. I worked at a really, really small camp in Connecticut. Um, it was something that I did during my gap year. I'd done two years of university at two different universities and two different degrees. Um, and I just felt like there was something missing and I wasn't, I wasn't fully happy at uni. And um, I was walking past a bulletin board one day and I saw this poster for camp and I was like, oh, that seems like something I could possibly be looking into. Um, so I did, I looked into it, I ended up applying on the day that I looked into it, um, and then from there everything, the ball just got rolling. And after doing camp um, four years ago, like I was, like I just fully fell in love with it so much and it gave me that push and that motivation that I needed to go back to Australia, finish my undergraduate, which I finally just finished. Um, but mainly because I could, so I could come back and give camp another go. Um, so this time around I did apply for a different camp. Um, there were a lot of things about my last camp that I really loved, but there were also a lot of things that I was looking for that I wasn't, I didn't really get at that camp. Mainly I wanted to be working as a fine arts specialist, so I wanted to be working in an area, not as like a general counsellor or a cabin specialist. Um, I wanted to be on a camp that was a little bit larger and had a little bit of a higher support level for the staff. Um, and I wanted to stay on the East Coast, so preferably like New York or Maine or Massachusetts, Connecticut, that kind of area. So when I found Camp Echo Lake, I was just like, wow, like this is just, this would be the perfect camp for me. Um, and I remember at the time I'd sent five emails to five different camps kind of in this area. They were all kind of similar to each other, but there was something about Echo Lake that really stood out to me. And I was just like, I would go to bed every night with my fingers crossed, hoping that they would be the camp that got back to me. And luckily they were the only camp that um, hit me back. And we're like, let's have an interview. Um, and I remember like feeling so emotional during the interview because when Matt was talking about camp and er just everything about it, I was thinking tick, tick, tick in my mind is exactly what I want. Um, so yeah, so I was, I was super stoked when I got placed here because it's just been the perfect, perfect camp for me. Question. Basic, but what actually is your role at camp? So my role here is as a fine arts specialist. So basically what that means is every day, during camp, um, I am teaching art classes, which is incredible and something that I never really thought I would actually get to do, um, but it has been the most amazing experience ever. So the way my job um, is different to say a cabin specialist or a GL is the cabin specialists and the group leaders, they stay with the group throughout the entire day. So if the group is going to lacrosse, the group leader and the cabin specialist go with the group to lacrosse. And if they're going to boating, the cabin specialist and the GL go to boating with them. Um, whereas for me, because I'm in a specialty, I'm teaching classes throughout the day. And if I have, say, period three of at a class, I can look at the main schedule and see maybe my girls are at soccer and I can just wander over to soccer and do that activity with them and get to spend some time with them. Working in the art room here is amazing and I love it so much. We ran so many cool activities this summer um, and the head specialist for art, which is Dara, um, who is the most amazing human being alive, um, she gave us so much flexibility to teach classes and she was super supportive of us and I just I had such a good summer and most of it was because of her and how good of a leader and a boss she was I also was working with um, 
a couple other art specialists and that was really fun too. It was really nice to have the same people in the art room every day and to get to help each other and just have the same people that you're hanging out with every day. It was amazing. How long does camp run for? How long camp runs for it will be completely dependent on the camp that you're working at. Um, usually it's somewhere between seven and ten weeks um, as that tends to be the summer holiday period that Americans have. I've been here, this is my ninth week. Um, so we had one week of staff orientation, seven weeks of our campers and I'm currently almost at the end of um, an extra week on top of that doing post camp work at camp. So what's the hardest thing about camp? Honestly, the hardest thing about camp is the fact that I can't do this for 365 days a year. That is hard for me because I love it here so much and I don't want to leave. The hardest thing about camp when you're actually at camp would probably be... Oh, this is hard. I don't know, actually. I think the hardest days I had at camp were days when I hadn't gotten enough sleep the night before um, or when I like was a little bit sick and that was kind of like pulling down on me. But I didn't have a super... I didn't have any days where I was just like, this is too hard, I want out. Um, because there's just there's so much to be happy about here. So what does your day-to-day -day duties consist of? That's a really hard question because every day at camp it can be so completely different um, and also it'll change depending on the camp that you are working at. So for me at Camp Echo Lake I've been working as a fine art specialist this year so my morning would consist of waking up at 8.40 with my campers. Um, I was living in the senior village so we had a little bit of a later wake up compared to the main village who wake up a little bit earlier. So at 8.40 the alarm would go off, we would get our campers up, we would go straight to breakfast at 9 and usually I would have a class starting at around 9.30 so I would go straight from breakfast to the art room. We would set up prep for our class and then start our classes. So we had four classes in the morning, so four different periods. And then in fourth period, Main Village would have their lunch. And then from 1.30 to 2 p.m., Senior Village, which is the part of the camp I um, was working on, would have their lunch. And then after that, my girls would have rest period, um, then like a free play period. But I would go back to the art room and have another four, uh, like four periods of classes. Um, so that was really great. I loved, loved being in the art room. I was working with the most incredible people and had the most incredible boss. So I was super, super happy there in my specialty. And then after eighth period, I would go straight to the lake or the pool where I'd meet up with my group of campers, so the Lower Village girls, and we would have general swim for about an hour. After general swim, we would come back to the bunk. We would wait for a little bit and then we would have our allocated shower time. So we would take the girls, we'd go shower, get changed, and then we would have evening lineup. Um, which is when the whole senior village gets together in the lineup area where there's lots of benches, a flag, and the head staff would come and make announcements and stuff like that. So, yeah, so we'd have evening lineup and then we'd go straight to dinner. And then after dinner, we would have an evening activity. So this was always different every night. Sometimes it would be like a game or um, on Fridays, it'd be Friday night services and then Friday night live, which is something that they run in the amphitheater. Um, and then after <laughs> evening activity, we would then have canteen, which is kind of some chill time for the campers to have a snack and catch up with other people in the senior village. and. Yeah, and then after that we would meet up again as a group. We would have um, an evening circle up led by our group leader where we would kind of talk about the days, uh, sorry, talk about the day <laughs> um, and things that we really enjoyed and maybe some challenges that we had. Usually that would finish around 9.45ish um, and then if it was your evening off as a counsellor, you would go take your time off until 1am. Um, or if you were on OD, which means on duty, you would be with your girls for the whole night making sure they're getting settled into bed and that they're sleeping. <laughs> um, and you would just kind of sit on the porch and make string or write letters or something like that while you wait for the kids to go to sleep. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> the days here are very long, um, but there's always so much happening and like my campers were incredible. They had so much energy and massive personalities that every day, even though we have the same kind of schedule with the periods and the same general swim, every Day was so different and um, just so so fun uh, so yeah that's kind of what a day today is like so what's the best thing for you about being in the camp bubble I think the best thing about being in the camp bubble is being able to be a part of something that is so unique and so special and to be able to share that with people that are so similar to you um, I just I love it like it's so nice to be in a place where the only thing that really matters is making sure that your campers have an incredible day and an even more incredible summer. Um, and I honestly wouldn't want to be in any other bubble. I just love it here so much and I'm so excited for next year to be back in the bubble. <laughs> okay, so this question is, 
<laughs> can we go for showers now? <laughs> um, so this is a question that as counselors we got asked so many times within a 10 minute period of the day. Um, there was kind of between general swim and our allocated shower time. Um, but I'm gonna miss being asked that question every day. <laughs> Is it easy to fit in and make friends? So for me, I found it super, super easy to come into this environment um, and find people that were similar to me. I guess it takes a really special kind of person that will take so much time out of their life and come do camp that you will, it's pretty easy to find similarities with people around you. Um, the community here is just incredible. Like I've never worked with so many people that I've liked so much in my life. Everyone is fun and energetic and outgoing um, and just like the best team of staff. Um, that you could possibly surround yourself with. What I found really helpful is my camp had a massive group chat for all the international staff before we came here. So it was really nice to have that as a resource to be able to post things like um, just like general questions or like asking things about the packing list like do I really need this or like why is this on the list. Um, so yeah, so having that group chat to be able to reach out to other people um, was super, super helpful. We also were added into a massive Facebook group where a lot of people would post um, like introduction posts, like, hi, I'm so-and-so, I'm from here, I'm working as this, excited to meet you guys, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that was really nice because as soon as you come in, you kind of already know a few people from these outside resources. Um, I also met most of my like really, really close friends at the hostel in New York before we came to camp. Um, I arrived, I think, like like two and a half days before we had to get the bus to camp and so did majority of the other international staff so it was really nice to get to the hostel and then like message the group chat and be like hey like I'm in reception if you guys want to come down and get a coffee or something um, so yeah so like I met one of my best friends Kendall at the hostel we were actually in the same dorm together and it after we met we both realized that we were both working as fine art specialists so I literally spent every second of every day with her um, plus she got placed in senior village also so every morning we would walk over together um, so yeah it was really nice to have that kind of um, connection with people before you're actually on camp. Did you ever feel homesick? Um, not too much. The first week I was at camp um, during orientation I remember calling my mom and getting very emotional on the phone um, but I think that's kind of the only time for me that I felt homesick this summer. Something that's important to keep in mind is that homesickness is completely normal especially when you're so far away from home and all the things that are familiar to you. Um, I feel so comfortable and at home at camp um, so I think that helps me a lot plus it's always so busy and there's always so many things happening and so much to be like happy about and like I just, oh, I, just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Should I bring everything the packing list list says to bring. Um, majority of things, yes. Um, and on top of that, there are a few things that I would totally recommend bringing that weren't on the packing list. Um, but I think I'm going to do a whole video about packing and stuff that you need and stuff that you won't need at camp. So I think I'll just leave that question um, there for now. Uh, was doing summer camp one of the best things you've ever done? Yes, hands down, yes, yes, yes. And I say this to everyone that I meet and talk to about camp, which is usually everyone because I have a lot to say and I just love camp so much. Um, after the first time I did camp, I remember going back to Australia and being like, firstly, I'm not ready to come back to Australia. I want to go back to camp and do it for every single summer for the rest of my life. Um, but obviously that wasn't a reality. I had to go home, finish my undergrad, um, but I did use the motivation of being able to come back and do camp again as a massive push to get my degree done. I, I finally found a place where I felt completely like myself um, somewhere where I don't know I just thrive at camp I just love it so much um, oh. see this this is the problem about camp when you're trying to explain it to someone who has never done camp before it's so hard because firstly you end up sounding crazy um, and as I yeah, usually do sound um, but yeah, that there's something about working at a camp that just changes your whole life if you let it to kind of thing. Some people camp is not for them. Um, personally can't relate because I just adore camp. Um, but yeah, it 100% is one of the best things I've ever done with my life. Um, it just makes me so happy and I feel like I have such a great purpose here. And it's so nice to be a part of a team with people that equally love camp as much as me. Um, and it's just, it's so great being able to work with the campers every day and see them really grow and develop and just have the best summer ever, basically. <laughs> Who was your favourite camper? All in capital letters. Um, I don't have a favourite camper, no one does. We love all of our campers equally. Um, all of my girls had the most unique, incredible personalities and they were such 
like energetic and outgoing girls that all had something so uniquely special about them. Um, so yeah, no favorites here. <laughs> Do you share rooms, etc., and is the pay good? Whether you share rooms or not will completely be dependent on what camp you get placed at. Some camps you don't live with your campers, some camps you do. Um, at Camp OK Lake you do share um, the same bunk as your group of girls. So in my bunk I'm pretty sure there was 12, um, 12 of us all together and 3 of us were counsellors, so the rest were kids. Um, and it's really it's really fun to like be living in um, a bunk with all of your campers and like you, you just have this incredible opportunity to get, them, to get to know them so well. And they decorate the bunk and they really make it feel like home um, and at the moment I've been doing post camp for a week and today I went into the bunk that I was living in and I was sweeping out and stuff and it's really strange because I was thinking I've lived here for eight weeks but because it's completely empty like it just <laughs> it just doesn't feel like what it felt like when it was at camp if that makes sense um, it's, it's an empty canvas until the kids come and just completely make it your home. Uh, okay, let's talk about pay. So what you get paid at camp will be very dependent on your age, what job you're working, if you've done camp before and how much experience that you have with kids. Every single camp pays a different rate. Um, so when you do have your interview, that's a good question to ask is how much you will be getting paid. Something that I say to a lot of people that want to be a camp counselor is if you're doing camp for the money, you're probably not doing camp for the right reasons. Even though your pay rate may not be as high as what you earn at home or something like that, you are getting free rent for two to three months depending on how long your camp is and you're also getting fed every day so that holds a lot of value in itself this message came through from one of my co-staff saying how much do you miss the staff after camp ends um, a lot <laughs> so much um, at the moment for post camp there's a few of us that stayed behind and it's been really really nice to have that extra time with them but it's so strange being at camp without the campers and without um, the rest of the counselors um, it's really crazy and I miss them so much what's the food like the food here is incredible Incredible. We get fed so well. We have the best kitchen staff and chefs here um, and we just have the greatest meals. Like they're always delicious, they're healthy, super filling. The kids always love it. We have great desserts every night and a great salad bar. Um, so yeah, the food here is really, really great. How much money do you really need to do this? Really thinking about it next year. Firstly, awesome that you're thinking about doing it next year and I really, really hope that you decide to do it. Um, as for how much it costs to do camp, basically, so I went through an agency called Summer Camps IEP, which is a kind of a New Zealand and Australian based agency. Um, the application cost for first time camp counsellors is $500. You also have to pay your visa fee, which is about 160 US dollars. And you also need to have about 400 US dollars as proof of funds in your bank accounts. What advice do you have for people who are keen to do a summer camp? Firstly, do it. If you like kids, you like having fun, you're a hard worker and you just, you want to do something that is so different to anything you've ever done in your life, camp is the perfect place for that. I feel like camp is such a supportive environment um, where everyone can truly be themselves and there's no judgment and it's just very, it's very comfortable and very empowering. <laughs> I think my advice for anyone who is thinking about doing summer camp is to just dive in and do it. Um, it will honestly be one of the best things you you ever do with your life and it just opens up so many doors to so many different things um, and camp is just the best place in the world <laughs> and it's so hard to put it into words and explain to someone that hasn't done camp before why it is so amazing but I promise you that as soon as you get to the camp that you been placed at and you start working there and you start meeting these amazing campers and co-staff you will fully understand what I'm saying um, when I say camp is just it'll be the best thing that you ever do with your life <laughs>